everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this tutorial we show you how to center objects origins and pivot points in blender sets so, so let's begin with this tutorial to center an object to, to the scene press shift s and choose cursor to world center then select your object and press shift s again this time choose selection to cursor First things first, I want to explain what is the difference between object, origin, and pivot point. Object, origin, and the pivot point are three different things in Blender. The object is a container, as shown here. We have the default cube is a container or the object. This object contains all the data that an object holds. For instance, it holds the mesh that we access. When we tap into edit mode like this, tap into edit mode, it's gonna be showing all vertices creating our 3D object, and we have the faces and the edges. The mesh or the geometry is different from the object, it is just contained inside it. The object has an origin point, so let me explain. Tap into edit mode. As shown here, a single point in space that represents position of the object. We have this orange point at the center here. We see it as orange point or yellow dot in the 3D viewport. But what is the pivot point? The pivot point is something, something else uh, different than the the origin point, this is the point we do transformations around by default. The pivot point. The pivot point is set to the select the object's origin, but we can change this to be a number of different positions. You can rotate it, uh, rotate uh, surround surrounding the y axis, x axis and z axis. By the way, so let me continue explaining uh, the difference and how to snap your the object to different uh, points. So to center an object uh, in Blender, you should follow all these steps. Press uh, Shift S, like this is gonna be showing this by menu. Choose cursor to world origin. Like this, select your object, press shift, choose selection to cursor. We can't see anything happening, anything else happening because uh, the object is uh, set to cursor, snap to cursor, and uh, also the origin point at the world origin. So let's move the cube, hit G, then move it. Like this, you have the point, the origin point, and you have the 3D cursor set to the world origin. You can also center the cursor with Shift C, hit Shift C. It's gonna be making this effect. This shortcut will also center our camera on the scene at the same time, giving us a sense to the scale of the scale of our scene. So let me show you something very interesting. Sometimes you can't uh, find object is uh, is uh, far away from, for example, the pivot point, not pivot, but the origin point and the cursor. So how to move it to the cursor and make the cursor at the center of the object. Also the the same thing for the origin point. So just if you want to move the origin point, go over here. Click on options, then check origins. Click on it, it's gonna be uh, showing the three axes Z, X, and Y. You can move it also. You can move the origin point as shown here. Also, for the cursor, so let's go back and check it. So, how to move the 3D cursor? Just uh, go over here and you can. Hover your 3D cursor, most cursor is going to be showing these four uh, 
uh, arrows and you can move it in any direction you want. So how to make the origin point at the center of the object or same thing for the decursor. So just I'm gonna be. Let's begin with the origin point. Go, go over here. Check origin. Select it. Click on it to select it like this. So just hit Shift S. So selection to cursor. One click in selection to cursor is gonna be bringing the origin point to cursor and uh, set it at the same uh, position where the cursor is. Let's uh, Ctrl Z to undo. So how to move it to the center of the mass or center of geometry for this uh, default cube? Just Shift S and uh, for example, selection to cursor to select it or cursor to active for example. It's gonna be moving the this origin point to this location, shift S selection to selection to cursor because it's selected the origin point is gonna be moving the point to location where we where we have the 3D cursor. So let's uncheck our jeans. Let's select the 3D. The read uh, it doesn't really matter. So just uh, want, to, for example, let's select the cube. Shift S. Selection to cursor. So in order to make this origin point at the center of this cube, click on the rightmost button, set origin, go over here, geometry to origin is going to be making it at the center to center some objects because later when extruding or making rotation, that depends on position of the origin point. If you want to set the 3D cursor to the world origin as shown here, so just go click on this uh, button to activate to activate it in order to move uh, the cursor wherever you want where wherever you are clicking using the leftmost button so if you want to set it to, to the world origin just shift s go over here cursor to the world origin is going to be moving the cursor to the world origin as shown here click on this button select box and that's it so let me show you now how to center multiple objects at once. We will use the same procedure as outlined above. Hold Shift and select multiple objects and then press Shift S. Select uh, the selection to cursor, so just Shift S. Before doing that, hit H, select all the objects in the 3D scene, so Shift S. And selection to cursor is going to be centering all the objects at the world origin. So now let me show you how to send an object to another object. If you want to send an object to another object, we move the 3D cursor to that object. Click on the cursor to select it. Just move it like this. Select the object, shift S. Cursor. To select it, it's going to be moving the cursor to the object that we want to make it as a center. Shift S, choose cursor to selection, then hit Shift S again to choose object to cursor. Shift S. Select 
So finally, I'm going to show you how to center pivot point in Blender. To center pivot point to an object's origin, find the pivot point in menu at the, in the middle of the head of 3D viewport. It's over here. Click on medium point. Make sure you are in object mode and your transformations will be in relation to tall object's origin. And that's it for this tutorial, thanks for watching.